Hey guys, it's Ingrid here, and welcome to my July graphic novel wrap up. If you want to hear about all the novels that I read in July, I'll have my July books wrap up linked in the description. But now I'm going to talk about the five graphic novels that I read in July. And the first graphic novel that I read this month was Snot Girl Volume 1 Green Hair Don't Care. So in this graphic novel, we're following Lottie, which is a fashion blogger that has allergies, which is why it's called Snot Girl. And there is a big mystery element to the story, so we follow her and some of her friends. I really, really like the art style. I think the art style was my favorite. It's very pastel colors, and I just really liked the drawings. You can see what the art style looked like. And the story was intriguing enough, and this volume definitely ends on a cliffhanger. So I would have the next volume ready. But all in all, the story was intriguing enough for me to want to read the next one, which I will talk about later on in this wrap up. So yeah, if this interests you, I would recommend picking it up. The next graphic novel that I read was Monstrous Volume 1 Awakening. I actually read this during my first reading vlog, so I'll have that vlog linked in the description down below if you want to check it out. And this was really, really interesting. I ended up giving it 5 stars. It was a great first volume. It is a bit thicker than a lot of graphic novels. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it is a bit thicker and the story is so intriguing. So our main character, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right, but it's Maika, I would pronounce it. And it is the girl that you see on the cover here. In this world we have both humans and something called Arcanics. Again, not sure if I'm pronouncing any of this right. And so we follow our main character, which is an arcanic but looks like a human. And we follow her trying to take revenge. I'm trying to show you a page, but there's a lot of gore. It's definitely violent. There is a lot of blood. And I would not recommend this if you don't want to see anything too gory. But have a look at this page. I want to see what the art style looks like. So I really, really did enjoy the art style of it and the story. It is fantasy, if you didn't catch that. And this fantasy world that the author has created is just amazing. And I feel like we're going to get to know a lot more in the other ones. This definitely made me want to read the next one. don't want to spoil too much because our graphic novels aren't that long to begin with. So far, it's really, really interesting. I think you would like this if you generally like fantasy and it gave me a little bit of Nevernight vibes if you read that book. It is graphic and there is nudity and violence and blood so I wouldn't read this if you don't want to see stuff like that. It was just, it was amazing. I would highly highly recommend picking this one up. The next graphic novel that I read, I read for the Retelaton and that is Peter Panzerfaust. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And this is a Peter Pan retelling. So this is set during the Second World War. And we follow Peter and some boys. Peter is an American boy and the boys are French orphans. But this issue is them meeting. And the beginning of their story, there are five volumes in this story. So we get to meet who will eventually become... Captain Hook, I believe. I haven't read the other ones, but it is pretty obvious. And we get to meet Wendy, but it is all set, as I said, during the Second World War. And I really, really like this. I gave it four stars. I just haven't really connected with the characters yet. It is more on the shorter side as well. And the art style was a bit too simplistic for my taste, but it's still really good. So you can see a little bit what the art style is like. So because this is set during war, it is a bit graphic and what you would expect from something set during the Second World War. But I would recommend this if you find it interesting. I don't think you would have had to have read Peter Pan to enjoy this, but it definitely has a lot of Peter Pan elements in there, which I, of course, loved. So I definitely want to read more from this series. On well, the next graphic novel, I do not have my own copy of because I am currently lending it out to a friend. 
I'm going to put up a photo here and it's called Quiet Girl in a Noisy World, an introvert story. And I ended up giving this one four stars and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I think if you're an introvert, you would relate to a lot of the things that she talked about in this graphic novel. It's basically about how sometimes it's hard to be social and how that drains you and how you get excited about staying home and reading a book instead of going out. And it's, it also deals a lot with relationships and how it is dating someone that's an introvert. It was really good. I gave it four stars because I felt like the first half I really related to, while the other half not so much. And so for me, it was good, but it didn't have that little extra to give it five stars. But if you're an introvert, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking this one up. I think you will find it very relatable. And the last graphic novel that I read was Snot Girl Volume 2. Unfortunately, I didn't love this one. I ended up giving it two stars. I've heard a lot of people say either you love the first volume of Snot Girl or the second one, but not both. And that was the case for me. I really liked the first one and I didn't really like the second one. They put in like a supernatural element in here that I did not appreciate. And I didn't feel like we get any questions answered, just a whole lot of new ones. And it's not that I don't like getting new questions, but I feel like you need to answer some of the old ones. So for me, this was a letdown, but I do really, really like the art style. It's basically the same art style as Not for Volume 1. But yeah, I was disappointed. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series or not. This is the last one that's out for now. And then we'll see when the third one comes around if I feel like picking it up or not. So this was definitely a disappointment. I did like the first one a lot more. So unfortunately, a two star for me. So that was it for the five graphic novels that I've read this month. But I will include a little TBR here at the end. The first one here I've already started and that's Monstrous Volume 2, The Blood. And I think the third one is coming out in September, so I really want to read this one this month so I can read the next one next month. This is the continuation to Monstrous, which I talked about earlier. And if this is going to be anything like the first volume, I know I'm going to absolutely love it. And the second graphic novel I want to read this month is Peter Panzerfaust Volume 2, Hooked. It's the continuation of Volume 1, The Great Escape that I talked about earlier. I think we might get to meet more of Captain Hook's character. At least that's the vibe I'm getting from this cover. I really want to get to this one this month because I'm really interested to see where the story goes. And then the last one, I'm just putting up the first volume but I want to read the three that are out, is I Hate Fairyland. This is my favorite graphic novel of all time. It's been like that for about a year, I think it is, since I first read this. And I own all three that are out. Volume 1, Madly Ever After. Volume 2, Fluff My Life. And Volume 3, Good Girl. Even though this is my favorite graphic novel of all time, I still haven't read the third one. I actually bought this on release day. I also have the hardcover bind up of this three. But... Just knowing that if I read the third one, there would be nothing else to read. This made me not want to read it. And now the fourth one is coming out, I believe, in August or September. I need to check that out, but very, very soon. So now I can finally read the third one, but I want to reread the first and the second one so that I can buy the fourth one and maybe read it. I'm not sure. I just love this series so much <laughs> that I don't want to be caught up because then there's nothing to read. It's absolutely insane. I should not think like that at all, but it's just comforting knowing that I have an unread volume if I really, really feel like reading it. So this first volume, Mally Ever After, follows this lovely little woman named Gert. She's trapped in a six-year-old body, but I believe she's like 27, something around that age, and she's been stuck in Fairyland since she was six. So she has the mind of an adult, and it's so, so hilarious. So you follow her trying to find her way out of Fairyland. You're supposed to only be there for a day but she still hasn't figured out how to get out of there and it is a bit graphic but all the colors are so bright that it, it doesn't feel gory because of the art style. So I highly recommend picking this one up. I think everyone will find this funny. 
especially if you're an adult. I think you'll find it so hilarious. So I would highly, highly recommend checking this one out. That was it for my graphic novel wrap up. Be sure to subscribe if you want to hear me talk about some more graphic novels or books or bookish things. And you can follow me on Twitter or add me on Goodreads. And let me know in the comments if you like reading graphic novels, if you have any recommendations, if you've read any of these or want to read any of these. Just chat to me. And I will see you in my next one.